Welcome to this Fundamentals of Shading exercise where we're going to be applying simple plastic materials to this toy truck. I'd encourage you to try the exercise on your own first before watching this video. So let's start out by creating the red plastic material on the very front of this toy truck. So with this front object selected, I'll just hit New in the Material Properties panel and rename this to Red Plastic. Then let's change this diffuse color to be more of a red. We know that we want the material to look like plastic, so it'd be really helpful to know exactly what kind of plastic we want it to look like, rather than just guessing. I took this photo of one of my nephew's toys so that we can use it as a reference. I'll switch this 3D view to the UV image editor, and then I'll just drag and drop that file right in, so we can see it right inside of Blender. The first thing you'll likely notice is that the car is red and a little bit reflective. Your first reaction might be to use a red glossy shader instead of a red diffuse shader so we can get those highlights. Uh, but if we do that, let's just add a shader and glossy shader. And if we plug that in to the surface output and change this color from white to red, we can now have a shiny red material. But there's one really big difference, is that the highlights are also tinted. If you notice in this picture, the highlights are not tinted at all. So we actually need to leave the glossy shader to be a pure white. Now this is a really important thing to start out with because all non-metal materials have highlights that are not tinted. So this will make a really big difference between something looking metallic and looking plastic. So now let's mix between the red diffuse and the white glossy. We can do this with a mix shader, so let's press Shift A, Shader, and Mix Shader. And let's plug that in right here. You'll notice my nodes automatically jumped. Um, that's because I have this auto offset option checked. And if you do that, then your nodes will automatically jump around, which makes things a little bit easier. So let's plug this diffuse into the top socket here. The glossy shader will automatically jump to the bottom socket. And we are now mixing between the light that's being absorbed and the light that's being reflected by the glossy. Another key thing to notice from this photo reference is that the highlights are pretty sharp, whereas our shader is really, really soft. So let's take this glossy shader and bring the roughness down to about 0.05 and that will give us those sharp highlights. So we're off to a pretty good start here, but our truck is definitely too shiny and not as red as it should be. We can adjust the factor of the mix shader to account for this. However, we'd still be missing one critical piece of the puzzle, which is Fresnel. So we talk about Fresnel a lot here, so you may be familiar with it already, but it's the idea that surfaces become less reflective the more they are facing us straight on. We can see this really clearly in the photo where the top of the car is noticeably more reflective than the side of the door that's facing us directly. We can achieve this effect in cycles using the Fresnel input node. So let's press Shift A, input, and Fresnel. Now I happen to remember that the index of refraction value of plastic is 1.46, so I'll put that in as the value, but don't be afraid to ballpark this number, just use whatever number looks good to you. Now I'll plug that in as the factor so that the angles that are facing us are going to be using the diffuse and the angles that are facing away from us are going to be using the glossy. So now that we have our simple plastic material, let's go ahead and apply this to the rest of the truck as well. I'll select this back portion here, the truck bed, and I'll select that same red plastic material from the dropdown. Now I want this to be yellow, but if I went and changed the diffuse color here, it's going to change it for both pieces since they're sharing the exact same material. But what we can do is click this little two icon, which is going to make this a single user now, and I can rename it to yellow plastic. And now when I change the diffuse color, it'll only change the yellow plastic material. I'll do the exact same thing for the other pieces of the car. So I'll select this base piece, choose red plastic, Hit the 2 to make this a single user. I'll name this black plastic. And I'll change the diffuse color to be a darker gray. I don't want it to be all the way black because nothing in the real world is generally completely 100% black or completely 100% white. So it's better just to use a darker gray. Now I'll select the wheels and I'll use that exact same black plastic. However, I don't want them to be quite so shiny. I want them to be a little bit more soft because they've been running over the ground and probably are a bit more rough than the rest of the truck. So I'll hit this two again, and I'll name this Black Plastic Soft. So with that, I'll go down to the glossy shader here and increase the roughness to 0.2. Now you can see that the highlights on the wheels are not quite so sharp. 
Lastly, I'll select these hubcaps. I'll choose Black Plastic Soft, duplicate that, and rename it to Gray Plastic Soft. And of course, change the color to be more of a neutral gray. And with that, we have an awesome looking toy truck. Feel free to take this even further. If you're comfortable with nodes and want to add crazy stuff like dust and fingerprint smudges, but don't feel like you need to worry about that if you're just starting out. So thanks for watching this video, and don't forget to submit your exercise so that you can get credit for all your hard work.